Hey guys, welcome back to part three. I turned up the volume of the game a little bit more, just to keep, uh, keep on adding that up I get. Also, the compiler doesn't stack. Unfortunate. Um, film contains evidence, do not leave out. Red herb. Oh, let's use this. Commemorative photo. Dude holding a king holding a scepter in a book. Okay. Combining items. Come behind. Come to do that. Okay. Dude herbs will fully restore your health. Cool. Um. Yeah, what was this? What's this in here? Anything interesting in there? New music is nice. Okay. Have anything else I can I should yeah, those all look fine to be carrying with me. Knife, healing item, ammo, pistol. Okay. Oh, and I I went back to look. Um because I was so legitimately bothered by it that I had to look. The in the demo you get the uh, weapon soccer key card right here. It's on a desk. Uh, but I'm pretty sure when you walk into the room, there's just like s there's something else there. I don't remember what it is. I didn't go back to look. Um, yeah, but just this just interest this is interesting because it, it it was bugging me because I was like I should have it by now and I'm like yeah, but they probably just wanted to give me the shotgun and shit like that and just <clears throat> you know get me set on my path. There's a zombie up there this time. Interesting. That, uh... Before this was, like, blocked off in the demo, there was that locker with the key card, the number combination in it. Portable safe instructions. Interesting. Press a button to light up its corresponding lamp. Light them all to open the safe. The buttons must be pressed in a certain order. Pressing the silver button on order will cause all the lights to go out, and you will need to start these sequence over again. Interesting. Examine my ankles. Examine key. Gauge shotguns. Steel boys. And let's just shoot myself right now. God, you can see down the barrel. Oh, it's just like it's just like a black hole at the end. Okay. Okay, game. Uh, anyways, what I was gonna say is that uh sorry I got distracted. Something I brought this up in the last episode. The um Resident Evil 3, you have a ammo combiner and had a bad habit of never using it um <clears throat> and like like even in hard mode i wouldn't use it because i never found a need for it um because like you would get like like in the initial area i wouldn't use my gun until i got to the place where the shotgun was in the basement and so i'd use my pistol to kill all the enemies there or at least run distract them and down them run down there pick up the shotgun and then like run out um 
and like so apparently if you use the ammo combiner a bunch apparently jill levels up her ability to make ammo and you get better types of ammo out of it i didn't know that was a thing weird. Ah, for some nothing written on it. Interesting. Okay, cool. Wait, did I just hear this asshole start to get up? No. My inner is looking kind of full. up here. Right, it was up on the second floor. Okay. Oh, shit. There's fucking spade keys just sitting here. Oh. Okay. Well, I mean... stuff for me to go back and do real quick. Cause there's this guy being all needy down here. I wonder if he'll grab me when I walk by. was just back here. Where the hell did that guy come from? Oh, I got to decide. Do I want the two? Two gets me more gun powder. Okay. I was like, dude, you're dead. I need both for that one. Two also gets me some shotgun ammo. And three gets me a knife. Yeah, three gets me another knife, which I haven't used so far. So I think it'll be smarter to start with the two. Oh, 
was what? 102? that other one? 208. That's what it was. 208. Oops. Oh cool. Still let that slide. Awesome. Okay. I want to go back through the uh, main room there and want to start putting some paths here because there's some other stuff I can turn around and get to. Awesome. Okay. This guy got his a uh... Okay. Did he like hide around the corner or some shit? Oh, there he is. Interesting. That's so interesting. That's really cool. So he like shambles away and like sits on a corner. Also, for anybody who's tuning in who's like, man, I expect this guy to be screaming every three seconds. And I'm like, no, I'm not. Uh... Man, I got a lot more holes in them than I left them with. Um, expect me to be like an, a, a typical YouTuber. I'm not that. Uh... That ain't me, baby. Click. <sighs> There you are. Come here. Take a look. Jess. I knew she'd make it. Oh, you know her? Yeah. Name's Claire. I came into town with her. You can get to that courtyard. Through the second floor. East side. I'm on it. Thanks, Lieutenant. <clears throat> What are you doing there, Stan? Let me looky. <laughs> it's like bleeding all over the place. <laughs> I appreciate a sort feature. I would literally sit around in Resident Evil and sort out my inventory. <laughs> so everything was side by side. <laughs> and you would think, man, that sounds tedious. I'd be like, it just, it just weirdly cathartic for me. Right, I fucking one pop this chick. Does her body stay here forever? That'd be actually really cool. Yeah, because the thing was like right here. Yeah, no, it's gone. Okay. Well, I was curious. I had to know. Um, so story progression is up through the east, uh, through the upper east wing. That's what you're telling me. I still wonder how they got that guy hung up there. It's got to be like a liquor or something stuck him up there. Okay, and there's that third floor, so I'm going to take a peek at that real quick. Flat. It's a good number. I wonder if he'll grab me through the door. I mean, there's a good chance he does. I think. Because in the original Resident Evil, they could grab me through like the windows like that. Whenever I walk by the window, I keep thinking that it's like... Hold on. I have an itchy arm. Gotta stop for a second. Yeah. Keep thinking they'll grab me through that window or so there will be like a zombie banging on one of these times and we're like, we're three stories up. How determined are you? Brains. Oh, look great. What in the... Oh, 
Come with us. Two Wendy survivors. Because there's the gift to anyone still furnished from being alive. Keep your eyes peeled for those creepy fucks that look like they're skinned alive. Lickers, we call them. They're blind as bats, but their hearing's more than makes up for that. So as long as you don't run around like a total idiot guns a-blazing, you should be able to slip right by them. Probably. Either way, it makes like my grandpa... Like my grandma and creep around as slow as possible around them, yeah? Anyway, it's not that I want to go, but duty calls. That, and I've got a friend to avenge. David. Is there... What's this? Ah, dialogue. Hmm, gunpowder's on the same spot. Creepy. <laughs> oh, the inventory upgrade's still here. Definitely a good thing I came to pick that up. Ah, some guy's scribblings. Damn these corporate assholes! They cut me off! After all I've done for them, but that's how it's gonna be, so be it. I'm gonna have a little fun of my own as the world goes to shit. I brought up those filthy pigs, filthy pigs on a steel pen and set some C4. All I could do is detonate it and it's cyanora, suckers. But it's no fun as the first too soon. May I give that one raving loon something to really squeal about. Yeah, I may well give him a little toy and tell him, kill the guys next to you and I'll spare the other. I wonder what he'll do. You know about justice and pride, but how many times did you go against me, your own superior? Yeah, he's such a good cop, so good you had to die. Man, this is fun. I need some music for this. Hmm, there's the lady. Still doing really good on ammo thus far. That's interesting. So, like, the animation plays regardless if you've gone up through the, uh... Grabby hands. My favorite meal. Well, that hurts. Okay. Hmm. I need to. Okay, so the floor is broken. That ain't noise. Ooh, stubborn. Shit. Ow, that was my favorite neck. Fuck you. He even swears. I'm gonna get demonetized. Oh man, if my aim was any worse. Oh shit. Ow. Well, that wasn't very nice. I'm gonna just consider this. You are a fast dude. How am I looking? Still fine. There we go. It's always good to know they're dead. They pop like a zit, they died. What's this? <laughs> the Red Book. Okay. Alright, there's more to that book than meets the eye. Uh, examine. Art object, a piece of plastic shaped like a Book. It looks like it was being held by hand at some point. 
Ah, right, that's for that statue lady up there. But I apparently need to detonate a brick of C4 inside of a police station. Oh my god, are you dead yet? Do they just have, like, some unkillable zombies in this, or what? Hi. Nice to meet you. I'm just the guy that's lying on the floor right now. Oh shit, right. The horse, bro. What's this? Gunpowder. I'll take it. Where's this door go? Nowhere. What's this? Ah, cool. This is, this is apparently a lounge. <laughs> Waiting room, spade door. It marks all the doors and everything for me. Maybe a combat knife. There was apparently a combat knife in there. I walked by and go check on that. Jack. Dialogue valve. Dialogue. Supposed barricade. So far, nothing else has required the spade door key, eh? Yet. I'm sure we'll find plenty more. Okay, what was his, uh... What was his thing for the house? House horse. Fish, scorpion... Bucket. Fish. Scorpion. I guess that's the bucket. Okay. Well, I better not try to pick anything else up. Oh yeah, there's a combat knife. I can't pick up. I kind of shock this lady didn't come back up to freaking try and kill me. I was strongly considering it. I hope you know. Where the fuck? How did you... You went down in there, but then you came out up there? God, this place is confusing. Listen, man, it was a museum once. Museums are weird and confusing. We put things on display and apply arbitrary values to them just because they look kind of pretty. We're getting there, Marvin. Okay. Um, is there anything else up there? Should I just should I grab that combat knife right now? I might as well grab it right now. Before I just forget about it and leave it there forever. Nudge. My door now. Oh shit. Hope you fall down the stairs and die. It's the wrong way. Thank God, like, reloading a clip doesn't, like, uh... Doesn't, like, cause it to, like, do anything drastic or weird. Okay. Basically, I'm playing this at my own pace, so who knows how long that'll take. <laughs> Hours, even. Days. Months. Six years later. I finally finished Resident Evil 2. My channel is growing from a, a small and uh, sultry uh, uh, 60 subscribers to uh, 62. 
Thanks for watching my Resident Evil 2 Let's Play. You could have watched anybody else play it better than me. Subscribe to Jacksepticeye. <laughs> On, Leon, get that hustle. Oh, yeah. Okay. Uh, well, I think we'll call that good for right now. Uh, thank you guys for watching. If you liked to saw, please do all the things, and I'll see you in the next episode.